Welcome to the African Hub for Sustainable Creative Economies, a place to share research, knowledge and ideas. This project is funded by the Arts and Humanities Research Council in the United Kingdom. This video explores research on financing cultural and creative industries in Kenya and in East Africa more broadly. It was collaboratively written by Mrs. Wagner Jugnu, a partner at Tiva Fund and an investor in the creative industries. Roberta Communion, Professor of Creative Economies in the Department of Culture, Media and Creative Industries in King's College, London. Dendra Rickmers, a PH researcher in the Department of Culture, Media and Creative Industries in King's College, London. And Brian J. Hacks is an associate professor within the School of Geography and Environmental Science at the University of Southampton. This chapter provides an initial reflection on the development of CCI finance in East Africa by reflecting on the case study of HEVA to illustrate how new intermediaries can contribute to the innovation development and provision funding for CCIs in Africa. Considering the broader field of finance for CCIs and the new forms of finance, trends suggest that direct public funding is being reduced and the role of financial intermediaries is growing in the creative ecosystem. There is a market failure assumption in many subsets of the CCIs in Western counties, which results in the need for financial support. This support has shifted from funding to investments without explicitly expecting direct economic returns. This has meant that many established financial instruments are inaccessible to CCIs. There are multiple dimensions that hinder the utilisation of repayable finance in the CCIs today. From an investor's perspective, the CCI dynamics do not conform to conventional finance's logic. The financial sector is reluctant to support the CCIs for four reasons. Number one, a high degree of expertise in each creative field is required to access deals. Number two, only large developed markets offer enough volumes, profits and businesses to attract loan ticket sizes that most investors work with. Number three, Assets are often intangible, which impends default securitization. Number four, the scalability of businesses and other factors prevalent for investment decisions are not necessarily the objectives of creative enterprises and cultural organizations. From a CCI perspective, for a long time, there has been an underlying mutual distrust. The creative sector is reluctant to engage with traditional finance for five reasons. Lack of financial expertise and business acumen of creative entrepreneurs. Lack of financial instruments that address operational realities in CCIs. Reactive business models shaped according to grant giving bodies and fundraising frameworks, as opposed to a clear mission, irrespective of the source of funding a gap of available and appropriate capital and a reluctance to take on the risk of repayable finance as opposed to grants. Social finance describes the provision and use of private capital to address social challenges and generate social and financial returns. The CCIs remain overlooked by traditional financial institutions and impact investors. To date, Social finance has stayed away from investing in the CCIs and has not taken the time to really understand its needs. Kenya and East Africa have led many international development strategies for CCIs, long benefiting from programmes run by developmental financial institutions, charitable organisations and philanthropic funds. HEVA Fund has come in and established new models of financing and supporting the sector. In 2013, the Nest Collective, a multidisciplinary arts organisation based in Kenya, commissioned a feasibility study on the creative economy in East Africa, with the support of HIVOS East Africa. The key findings highlighted were a lack of public appreciation for art, inadequate business skills, lack of market access, 
a lack of exhibition spaces, financing and expensive equipment. The feasibility study showed that for the CCIs to thrive, a lot more than financial investment was needed. Secondly, investors needed to structure more favourable financial products that considered the context of entrepreneurs and the CCIs. Finally, there was a need for the public and private sectors and developmental organisations to work together in providing support for the sector at various levels. As a result, Heaver Fund was created. It is a creative finance organisation that aims to bring together an accelerator programme, an online portal and an equity guarantee fund to create an holistic approach towards finance support for CCIs in Kenya and East Africa. In 2014, Heva rolled out an early stage fund designed to respond to these constraints. Since then, Heva has actively made investments in 50 businesses from various subsectors in CCIs, worked to publish data in several reports, and trained more than 8,000 entrepreneurs in business and technical skills. Today, the activities of Heva Fund can be articulated under three main headings. Heva Capital consists of the three funds designed to catalyse the growth strategies of early stage ventures, optimise creative sector value chains and provide working capital and cash flow solutions, as well as a growth fund which offers follow on financing. Heva Forum creates a dynamic mix of tailoring one on one consulting opportunities and specialised skills, building workshops along with peer learning opportunities. Heva Insights includes data collection and publishing of reports that go deeper into CCI value chains, ease of doing business, budget analysis and engaging with government and policymakers to ensure the sector's needs are well presented. Heva has three central funds through which it invests its businesses. One, Seed Stage. Two, Young Women in CCIs. And three, Growth Fund. Heva established a short-term seed fund facility looking to support and stimulate culture and heritage startups in Kenya. The fund used hybrid grant and loan facilities. Heva designed a facility aimed at young women in CCIs, focusing on early stage financing and business support to exclusively support women-owned and women-led early stage enterprises in Kenya. In 2018, Heva signed an agreement with AFD to expand its investments into growth stage businesses in Kenya. This later expanded to cover much of East Africa. In 2019, Heva launched OTA, a programmatic focus on women in CCIs. This was set up to build the competitiveness and sustainability of women-owned and women-led businesses. The chapter put forward three key findings. Firstly, effective financing for the CCIs requires specific knowledge and understanding of the CCIs. Secondly, within the sector, it is important to consider the importance of finance and development support for CCIs as integrated because finance underpins cash flow, but also skill development and the aims of entrepreneurs, which often extend beyond profit and growth. Finally, CCI finance needs to grow with the support of policy frameworks. If you would like to read this research in more details, consider purchasing the book Developing Creative Economies in Africa, Spaces and Working Practices. You can keep up to date with our work and research via the social media channels of African Hub for Sustainable Creative Economies.